There you are, handsome. Hello, Maud. How have you been? Oh, simply wonderful. And you? About the same. Somewhere stuck between joyful and peachy. Even in this world full of scum and detritus, it's only right that we all bear our share. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Take this poor wretch. On the run, desperate, alone, about to learn the true meaning of suffering, all for a few thousand bucks. Think you can find him for me? Every man has his talents, Maud, and the rigorous administration of justice is, uh, it's one of mine. That's why I love you, Trevor. I'll send you his file. Gonna meet a bitch, that's where you're gonna meet one, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey. Give me a sip of that. What? Come on! My throat's dry as a motherfucker. Why? Is your mother dry when you're <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that, huh? Nothing. Well, it didn't sound like nothing. Alright? It didn't seem like nothing. I don't think that it was nothing. No, I didn't mean nothing by it, old man. What, old man? Old man! Fuck you, you creepy old motherfucker! That's right. I said it. Creepy. Old. Motherfucker. No. Jesus. Huh? No, come on. Get what? Up. What? What? Sorry. Now, where sorry. were come we on, exactly? Get up, huh? Get up. Oh. Sorry, man. We're sorry. Help! Help! It's a guy with a gun. No Reunion! going on, Ron? They were here for you. Here for you. Who was here? Them bikers. After you killed Johnny K. And they damage my stuff, huh? They smash up my home. Damage my soul. 
this, 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 this statue here of impotent rage, this fucking meant more to me than Johnny K meant to anyone, and they smashed it. Those pathetic, midlife crisis, hog-riding, shaven-headed, fruity leather, chap-wearing fucking assholes. They're assholes, Trevor, they are. They're chap-wearing assholes. Oh, wait, 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 you little shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey. <laughs> Michael fucking Townley, right? Bitch wife, two kids, 45, find them. Los Santos is a big, big place, Trevor. There's lots of people. You are fucking useless. Huh? Find out who did that fucking robbery, all right? And if Michael Townley lives there, or anyone matching his description, I'm gonna kill you and your fucking cousin. Am I being clear now? Yes, Trevor. Thank you, Wayne. Now smile. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. all right? That's better. Run along. Now, Ron, shall we go? I cannot believe that they fucking destroyed my statue of impotent rage. The cheek, huh? The fucking cheek of it. I gotta swing by ammunition. Go to Sandy Shore's airfield, check it out. I'm coming your ear when I get a hold of you. Oh, what are you buying at the gun shop? I'm not buying anything. I need a sniper rifle with a high power scope. They say they support local business. Well, we're about to find out if that's true. Melvin! How you feel about brand synergy, huh? TP industry. That's the rifle I need. She'll do nicely. You got a scope and a suppressor for this? They won't hear me coming. All right, now stop selling weapons to that half-wit Cletus. Run, run! I got the gun. Meet me at the water tower just north of the airfield. Roger that, Trevor. But you gotta look out, cause there's bikers all over this airstrip. Of course there are. Two planes are touching down at the field on a weapons run. We're gonna wait till the right time and appropriate them. We are? Yes, we are. Where are you, man? I'm waiting at the water tower. I'm here. I don't see the hardware, but I do see a hell of a lot of bikers. Come up! We gotta wait till you can slip in there unnoticed. Should give you the time to plan a route to the gas tank you're rigging up to blow. R really? The ATV can only take you so far. Park it and don't let them spot you. Can you see me, Trevor? You wouldn't believe this, Ron. One of these assholes is having a seizure or something. That's me! That's me! Don't shoot! Well, get a move on! I'm moving! Just keep me covered, okay? I saw a guy by the tower. I shot him. Now keep moving. Hurry it up, Ronnie! You hear that? I can hear an engine! They'll see that body! I already shot the light, so you can calm down. Now, don't smoke the guy in the van until he stops and gets out!
If the man wants to pay his respects, I ain't one to... You should have seen the look on his face. There's a guy coming out of the control tower. Take him out. Shit. He's gotta go. Woo! Down he goes. Oh no! Bottom of the tower. Another guy's on his way. He's down there, amongst the bodies. Okay, I'll get to him. Clean shot, Trev. There's another guy at the top of the tower. He's probably looking for his buddy. He's seen the body! Take him out before he raises the alarm! So long, sailor. Get your sights back on me, Trev. I'm scared. Come on, man, cover me. I got you in my sights, so get a move on and plant that bomb on the gas tank. I'm on it, but there's a guy coming out of that building, I think. I can hear him. Shit! He's coming out the far door. There's another guy coming out of the building. Good kill, Trevor.
presents no immediate danger, I'll do my best to oblige you. So, uh, so uh, who might despise me? The guy who's taking receipt of these guns is in a boat just off the coast. Hey, there's a biker on your wing, Trevor. I feel safe. So, uh, who might this buyer be? There's only two places this kind of hardware is gonna go. And they are? Up north to our Canadian cousins, where the lost were likely to be sending them. Or? Or other neighbors. Those in the south are Mexican brethren. I assume you got all kinds of connections in Canada. Why would you make an assumption like that? It's obvious. Why is it obvious? Spell it out for me before I order you to fly that plane into a mountain. Um, uh, but because of where you used to operate, weren't you pulling scores in North Yankton and running cargo over the border? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah sure I was. to the airstrip, I'll butcher your carcass and wrap you in cheesecloth. You wouldn't really do that to me, would you? Beat me and you'll see. Uh, I ain't a trained Air Force pilot like you. I can just about get where I'm going, but I don't got much choice over whether it's fast or slow. Then get better at it, or fly through a barn. And let a barn slow me down? Yeah, it might do. Or it might kill you instead. I'm just gonna fly normal, and I'll rely on you getting there quicker. You're braver than I thought. Keep low over the swamp, boss. So the guns are going to Mexico? Mexico, yeah. Guy in the boat is Oscar Guzman. He's in with the cartels. If there's a market, this could be a way to expand the business. Like I hadn't thought of that? We might be able to buy into Oscar's thing, but leave that to me, Rod. I'm sorry to ask this, but does your contact pay well for this kind of shipment? Because I've got those lawyer fees for the divorce and my settlement costs. Oh, he pays. Better than any in this sorry country. That's good to hear, man. We'll talk about the exact split when we're grounded, okay? All right, T. I think that was adequate restitution for my impotent rage statue. That was a mighty fine statue, Trev. That was a mighty fine piece of plastic shit. But there is no price for emotional attachment. I mean, you might forego your cut to uh, alleviate my heartache. I might? Yeah, I mean, I will. Good idea. We don't have time to dwell on that now. 
Because we got more runs, Ron. If there is one thing that they need south of that big fence, it is guns! <laughs> Trevor Phillips Industries! Technical expertise, hmm? managerial innovations, unstoppable! Oh, that's right! Now go! I need to meditate. Or masturbate. Or both. You sure as shit are one dumb, ignorant, white trash hillbilly, Wallace. <laughs> You're damn right! <laughs> Chang, spreadsheet. Let's head outside and talk terms. La 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 la. Quite in. Gentlemen, I think I have proved that my organization can handle weight. And I think I've proved that my organization is a reliable supplier. In short, it's you, and me. Now give me some of that goddamn axe. I'm afraid we want to go down a different path. What? We want to explore other opportunities. Shut the fuck up! Our boss, Mr. Cheng's father, wants something a little larger. We want to move drugs, perhaps guns. This is my life's work. I mean, since I was a little kid, I, I dreamt big. You know, I've always wanted to be an international drug dealer. And, and weapons trader. All right, so I'm begging you. Let's make this happen. I'm very sorry. You're sorry? You're fucking sorry? I just spilled my fucking guts out to you, and you say to me you're sorry. Who are you working with? Hmm? I'm not at liberty to say... Oh, no, 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 you're at fucking liberty. In fact, I'd say you are obliged. Who? Fucking who? 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 The O'Neill brothers. The O'Neill brothers, huh? Yeah. You shitting me? No. Because those fucking O'Neill brothers, I hear a little birdie telling me that they have a bit of a problem, since one of them's gonna have to be surgically removed from the skull of the other. Fuck you guys and fuck them! You fuck you fuck you Trevor it's business that wide-eyed idiot was mine it's business fella you want to discuss it we're at the farm Ernie Earl Walton Wynn Dale Doyle Daryl Dan all of us start writing those names on tombstones cuz I'm on the way to your lab and we're gonna see how much of a family myth business you got when I'm done mm. They're dead, all of them, inbred hillbilly twats!
sentience! I just spoke to that maniac Trevor. He's coming. Get down to the meth lab to protect it. Right. I hope he don't get through these idiots, but we know they're idiots. Come on, let's go see them Chinese fellas. Oh, how many brothers? You got you inbred freaks. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. Kill ya! gonna burn you idiots nothing but a smoldering fucking rat Burn you, disrespect! 
Strike for pricks! here you're not even hidden have you got it I've been trying Trevor I've been trying come on over here all right I ain't gonna hit you I've been trying I know I know <laughs> I thought you said you weren't gonna hit me I thought you said you were gonna find fucking Michael Townley there's two Michael Townley living in L.S. One is 83, and the other one is at kindergarten. I asked the teacher to put him on the phone just to be safe, but she threatened to call the cops. I ain't no molester, Trevor. Shut up asked... before I molest you, all right? Now, is there anything else? I, I look through the phone directory. I did find a, a Michael DeSanta, about the right age, married with two kids. What's his wife's name? Amanda? Amanda? Yeah. You're a genius, you moron. Come on, uh, come here. Uh, Woo! Uh, don't you ever not tell me things I want to know! Sorry, Trevor. Run, you little bastard! Get out here! We're going to Los Santos! Are we? Not you, me and Wade. What about me? You're CEO of Trevor Phillips Enterprises. Find us some business so that we can make some money! And tidy my shit up. Let's go, wait, come on. I'm driving. You can jerk me off if I get bored. I'm joking. You can suck me off. Are we gonna stop for ice cream? Um, so, so we're headed to Los Santos then? Soon. I gotta make a stop. Oh, what's the stop? Ice cream? Road trip? We taking this one? Get in! Where are your people at in Los Santos? It's just my cousin there, Roy. He's bumped in with his girlfriend in some place called Vespucci Beach. So, uh, what's your stop? Family's important, Wade. Not as important as the man that's employed you, mentored you, and fed you amphetamines this last year, but it's important. We gotta pay this cousin a visit. I ain't seen him in a while, Trevor. All the more reason to drop by. Okay, um, I got my big guys, but where are we stopping on the way? Cause you know, I'm getting kind of wet over here. For fuck's sakes, another chapter of the lost descended on this fine town. Looking to mourn, and maybe revenge their dead. I was thinking me and you could pay our respects. Trevor, I, I, I don't think we'd be welcome there. I mean, what do you want to, well, send them on their way to begin with? Grief has a beautiful way of bringing folk together, Wade. Just you wait. And besides, I brought them...
They slipped. Ice took a hold of this whole place. You're lost, but you are not forgotten, brothers. We'll find that motherfucker. I got pissed to look a king and make the quiet on it. Yeah, I took them. Those are my gifts for these pricks. Sit tight, little buddy. Don't be long. Let's get out of town. 
Los freaking Santos. Got go okay? I heard about the banging and screaming. The gang got got the nice kind. Yeah, it went good, Wade. We don't have to think about the loss no more. Let's go find my old buddy. This Michael Townley guy must have pissed you off real bad for you to want to find him so much. He didn't piss me off. The guys that killed him, the federal government, they pissed me off. But if he's dead, who's this? Now you're starting to grasp the pertinent questions. Who is this guy using my dead friend's tired-ass movie quotes with my dead friend's alias and my dead friend's family? The house I must have been paid for with my dead friend's stashed millions? Wow, that's a real mind bust. Yeah, I'll show you a fucking mind bust. I'm gonna stick my boy in your eye. It's gonna come out of your ear, huh? How do you mean any goodbye back, P? So, Michael, this is where dead men come back to life. Huh? It's been nearly ten years, but you'll keep for another day or so, huh, old friend? You motherfucking fuck! I grieved for you! You weren't even fucking dead. You were my best friend. Well, guess who's coming to shit on your doorstep, you fuck! Los Santos, the city of shitheads. Where else would he be? It's the fool, you're beach fucking fucking fool. Where he stands. Will you tell me the story about that boy, Trisha? Ah, yeah, yeah. Where were we? Right, 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 right. So, this kid, he could fly planes. So, he signed up for the Air Force to fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe, just maybe, drop the nuke. And it was all going well until one day, just before he got his wings, an evil witch in charge of psychological evaluations told him he was unstable and grounded him for life. That's terrible. It was. 
sent him into a deep pit of hell. Despair. And just then, ju just as he hit rock bottom, he met a fat, silver-tongued troll under a bridge. That's cool. What was your troll's name? Mike. Mich Michelle. A lady troll? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Tits like one, but no, no. He, he was a boy. Michelle is a funny name for a boy. Well, this was a funny boy. He sat under his bridge, robbing anyone who passed him by. Sometimes he'd go into town and rob the shops and inns and such. And he persuaded our hero that maybe he should rob people too. And you know what? Little Trisha did rob people. And little Trisha was good at it. And they lived happily ever after? For a while. Until the troll met another troll in a strip club. And they fell in lust. And he bought her a pair of fake troll tits. Even bigger than his real troll tits. So she could make more money. Ah! she could make more money stripping. Maybe a little on the side without call work, but you didn't hear that from me. Wow. And then she pushed out a pair of little trolls and the big bad troll under the bridge went soft. Hold on, what? So little Trevor made a new friend called Brad and he was thinking about cutting Mike off when it all went to shit and Mike got killed and Brad went to jail. Did all the names just change or am I missing something? Oh, oh. We're near Floyd Cap. I seen it on the I find map. I'll give you directions. Keep it straight now. I turn right here. Just keep on a minute. This is the place. I think it is at least. Cousin Floyd! It's up here, Trevor! Yeah, I was looking for your profile on Life Invader, but uh, I couldn't find it. you, you rude fuck. Now get up off the floor and fix me a fucking drink. Oh, you wait. <laughs> I heard you was off smoking meth somewhere. No, not somewhere here. He's gonna smoke meth here. Give me a fucking lighter. You can't smoke here. Okay. <laughs> this is my girlfriend's place. She's at a business conference. You can't smoke here and you can't stay here. How's it going, cousin? It's been a while. Yeah, I ain't seen you since you was called in Evelyn's bed. A guy was never proved. You gotta go, both of you. My girlfriend, she'd kill me if she knew I had guests. Well, it's not much of a girlfriend if she don't like your family. Now, would you get me a fucking drink? I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait, uh, I ain't got no booze. Well, then you go out and fucking get me something. You go, too. <laughs> 